Year 2022 saw many developments in the world we live in. Russia-Ukraine war, UK's political turmoil, inflation hitting the roof globally, Europe's gas crisis, recession, Russian sanctions, the UK-India free trade agreement and after effects on world economy because of COVID. War, diplomacy, trade, foreign policy, geopolitics. If these few terms intrigue you, you should in fact study international relations. The subject is a sub-discipline of political science, but it also draws heavily from other fields of study, such as law, geography, history, sociology, philosophy, and economics. And there is no better place to study for this program than Canada, a country that has played an important role in world politics and developments. Let us discuss everything about this interesting yet relatively lesser known field of study today. So what exactly is international relations? International relations or IR is for students who want to make a difference in the world through bridging cultures and building opportunities. It also allows us to understand the tools and resources needed to address fundamental issues affecting the world today, such as hunger, healthcare, education, poverty and more. A degree in IR teaches students on foreign affairs, political principles and relations between countries. Now let's move on to where all you can study for this program in Canada. Well, to start with, at an undergraduate level, you can find bachelor's degrees at University of Windsor, University of Regina, Mount Allison University, St. Thomas University, University of Toronto and University of Calgary. Diploma programs are available at Alexander College, Okanagan College and University of Regina. Master's programs are available in University of Prince Edward Island, FDU, Royal Roads University, BCIT and University of Northern British Columbia. Do note that name of the program will vary from institution to institutions. Some universities may call it international relations, others may call it international studies, global studies, international affairs, global leadership or global affairs. So what background you should have for this program? For UG, ideally you can be from any background and math will not be required by most institutions. For PG, you can be from backgrounds such as English language, economics, history, politics, sociology, geography, modern languages, philosophy and psychology but the program will be also open for students with considerable work ex in a relevant job. IELTS 6.5 with 6 is minimum recommended for PG courses and 6 with 6 for UG. 60 to 70 percent will be a good score to get into a PG program and 70 percent plus is recommended for a UG program. Over to the most important part which is the tuition fee. Since IR is a non-tech and non-lab based course, so the tuition fee is a bit lower than the other programs. On an average, you can expect to spend 15,000 to 30,000 Canadian dollars per annum or 9 to 18 lakh rupees as the tuition fee. Apart from that, you can set aside 10 to 12,000 Canadian dollars per annum as your living cost, which will be roughly around 6 to 7 lakh rupees. Moving on, let's talk about career options and earning potential. So on an average, you can make around 70,000 Canadian dollars per annum after graduating from this program and starting salaries hover around 60,000 dollars per annum. Once you get experience in the field, you can expect to earn northwards of 100,000 Canadian dollars per annum. You can choose to work with government sector, NGOs, global think tanks, consulting firms, community organizations and foreign services. Possible career options include humanitarian aid worker, policy developer, diplomatic officer, public policy analyst, immigration officer, international project manager, international development worker and community rights manager. Global Affairs Canada, Canadam CIC, Canadian Global Affairs Institute, Centre for International Governance Innovation, CUSO International, McKenzie Institute, IDRC and Ballisili School of International Affairs are a few employers you can target once you graduate. To start your applications, you can get in touch with our experts, the link is in the description box below. And with the ever-changing foreign policies, diplomatic stances and political landscape of the world today, a career in IR can surely take you places. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments box.